All right, y'all. Welcome back for another quick, I'm gonna try to make a quick tutorial about how to edit video on your phone. For those of you who don't know, um, you can edit video on your phone and you can edit pretty good, not as good as you would in Adobe Premiere or anything like that, but it's good enough. And I use an app called InShot. InShot is a good app that I would definitely suggest you download. It's free to download. It doesn't cost any money unless you want all of the bells and whistles that they have to offer. But for the most part, you can still edit good video on your phone. So let's check it out. After you download InShot, that is I-N-S-H-O-T, go to your app store, go to the Google Play Store, download that really quick. And what's going to happen is after you bring it up, you're going to be here, right? So as of right now, this is the main menu of InShot. It gives you three choices, the video, the photo, and the collage. The video, of course, is what we are getting into today. So you're going to click on video. And then as long as you give InShot the permissions to your phone, then as soon as you click on video, it's going to automatically bring up all the videos that can be found on your phone. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on a video. And when you click on a video, you can see the a scissor like a scissor icon and that basically is when you click on the scissor it goes straight to the video and it allows you to cut shave a certain part of that video before you go to the main editing section so if you're familiar with Premiere if you're familiar with um, Final Cut Pro this section right here is the source panel right this is where you have a video and you don't since you don't want all of the video in you shave it you trim it as they say right and then you give an x to go back select another one trim that or check mark to get started and then this green check mark at the bottom right hand corner is to get started on the main video part so what we see here we see the video all the way to the bottom we see the timeline where you can scrub back and forth right but you notice that the video is kind of in between two large white areas right and we don't really want that this this uh, dimensions is made, made for a cell phone. But let's say we want our video to be posted like we would on a television. 19, uh, you know, 1080p. So then you go to this area right here. And this is your tools, right? So to get rid of the white area, we're gonna go to the first tool you see to the far left and that is the canvas and the canvas basically gives you options on how what kind of canvas you want your video to be on when you think of a canvas think of a you know a paint canvas we want ours to be 16 by 9 and since our video is 16 by 9 as soon as we click that the video is full screen so you can also um, widen it up, scale it up, or scale it down. You know, you can move it around. And notice also that it's locking on to the center. So that if I'm here, and let's say now I wanted to center it up. All you gotta do is really easy, drag it in the general direction and it'll center things up for you, right? Let's take ours all the way to the bottom so there's no whiteness showing. Oh, you know what? No, let's have a frame. So as you can see, 
there is the tools and you can tell by the tools everything is used that's the great part about InShot everything is kind of user friendly we really don't even have to go into a lot of things because what I like to encourage people to do is to explore to troubleshoot to play around with stuff yourself so that you know how to do it um, and then that gives you it makes you more comfortable as well um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little bit let's turn it up here we are playing Warzone All right, so let's go to a certain area. Let's stop right there, right? We're shooting a guy down. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is um, add a sticker. When you click on stickers, they already have a whole plethora of stickers ready for you. Or you can download more. A lot of them are free, um, but like I said, it will cost you if you want all of the bells and whistles. And I think uh, when it gets to a certain point, uh, you'll have to pay for them. But for right now, let's look at a sticker. We haven't chose one yet. Now they have gifts and this is new. They didn't have gifts before. Now we want stickers. Let's look. Different types. Right arrows. New post. You know, these are all different types of stickers that you can look into. Different individuals who have created sticker palettes All right look you look at what's trending All right and as you can see this can get time consuming if you don't know what you're doing but like I said you know you're creating a video and you have something creative brewing in your mind and this is a great tool mobile tool that allows you to um, you know play around and um, just explore you know, electricity let's look at that right and then we bring up sticker it, it appears here you can magnify you can twist it and you can plus check mark and then you can see here on the timeline this the extent to how far the sticker is gonna play right now in order to move this sticker from one part of the timeline to the other you press and hold and now when you rub your finger it'll follow you and then you can do it that way you can also press it one time and then press on the one of the arrows to lengthen the time that the sticker lasts, right? We don't want it to last too long. Let's stop it there. And let's start it there. Right? Really quick. Right? Um, check mark. Cool. You can add filters. Let's add a filter. Filters are fun. They have different types of filters. Film filter, cinema filter, skin, moss. Now they have new filters where you can isolate colors and stuff. Man, InShot is doing pretty, pretty good with this type of thing, man. Um, you can really just lose your mind in playing around with these things. 
you can you can change the intensity of the filter. So let's see right here. Bring it in the middle. You know. You can go back and say, no, I don't want that. I want this instead. You can just do a lot. You can do a lot. You can add music. Let's add music. It gives you, you can add effects, music effects, and you can also record your own vocals to this as well. Let's say you want to make a simple edit, a simple cut, all right? You have this split here. Let's go to a certain part, get to a certain part, and then you say, I want to cut it at this point. This split right there. And now your one clip becomes two clips. Play it a little bit more. Right, stop it there. Do a split again. Now your two clips become three clips. But there's one clip we don't want. That's the one that we split in between, right? So this right here. And to get a To get a bird's eye view of your whole thing, you press and hold any clip. Press and hold any clip for you to get the totality of what you have so far. You see we have one clip of 18 seconds, the middle clip is 7 seconds, and then the last clip is 12 minutes and 5 seconds. Right? So that's everything, that's your whole video that you have right now. But we don't want the 7 second one. We can get rid of that. So we can just hit delete. Bam, it's gone. And then click on one of these clips to go back to editing it. Right? So that's a simple way to edit on InShot. And with all the features and stuff that they have right now, you can really just lose your mind and play around and troubleshoot and experiment. Um, but since you are kind enough to hear it from me if you have any questions or anything specific that you want to ask in regards to this um, just hit me up and I'll gladly you know fill you in on what you need to do to get whatever effect or whatever edit you're trying to get all right but until then thanks peace